Why I'm looking down from where I'm at? The bottom's always overcrowded. Dispossessed. Let's go. Ooh. Yeah, interrogate him. He might be a fellow fucking investigator, but... Ooh. I'm playing as Ryuki now. I don't like this uh, inverted thing. You. Um, who are you again? It's not Bikini. <laughs> it's not Tsukini either. Mizuki! Oh, I remember. It's Mizuki. You fucking drunk piece of shit. <laughs> uh, looks like he hasn't sobered up yet. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, it is. Okay. So, that big titty bitch we saw when he was trying to invade our brain, when we were invading his, that is the... Uh, his mental manifestation of his fucking uh, AI eyeball. Yeah. It's the middle of the night. <laughs> I'm not leaving until you give me answers. So quit messing around. Well, fucking ask me a question then, Mizuki. You probably weren't listening to me at Brahmin, so I'll say it again. Yeah, well, yeah. You, you just had me in a fucking sink. Well, I was playing as you, but besides the point. No need. Tama told me earlier, Jin Furue's other half was found, but the body was alive until noon today. You want to know how? It's simple. Jin's left half flew here. It flew through time from the world six years ago. What are you talking about? Fuck. I mean, that's what I said, but like... Ryuki, why I is, looked inside your mind. Why does that contextually make sense? I know. You synced with me, didn't you? Who was that person? That person? The person who was reaching out to you at the end of the Somnium. Tell me. Something happened six years ago that I don't know about. What was it? You really want to know? Yeah. Yeah. You could be putting yourself in danger. I'm not afraid. Fine, then I'll tell you. But time! But I'm sure there's no need to explain what happened on February 10th, six years ago. Yeah, I was there, at the studio. Alright, then I'll start from the part you don't know about. The day after the incident. February 11th. Oh shit. What happened then? Go ahead and blind me again. Ah. The first of Ryuki's chapters. Abyss HQ. Six fucking years ago. Alright, what happened? Ah, no eyeball head ass. What? Why? Why is your eyeball What's up, gonna, in, in, in between boss's titties? Anybody else see that? Go, go fucking back and rewind that shit. It's just sitting there all like... I'm in the titties. Like, bitch. Also, what up, Date? Mr. Date. Look, 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 look. Why? What? I mean, like, I'm jealous, but like, why? <laughs> What's wrong? I've been staring. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. Of course I've been staring. I see a stupid looking man's face. I'm a fucking shit on your life. Like this. <laughs> God damn it. What the fuck? Alright, fine. Whatever. Yeah, I'll try. You'll try? What the hell is that? Why don't you say it like you mean it, asshole? It's your duty to solve this case. This is why you're here, isn't it? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's all right now, because I am here. Half might. <laughs> Half for all, we are full-time heroes. 
the hell's happening? Ryuki? You feeling okay? Maybe we should have a doctor take a look at you. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Don't worry, I'm fine. You're trying to convince yourself, aren't you? Poor Ryuki, you're exhausted. I got yeah. it, Tama. You can close it. You fucking turd. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, there's usually something, like, weird that we can click on, right? Oh, there's that fucking thing. Tama, show me the news. That's not how you ask for a favor, is it? I beg of you, Lady Tama. Hmm, how about this? Hmm? Connected my brain through a wireless link. I will exchange information. I said news, not nudes. <laughs> I mean, if Tala wants to send me nudes, she can send me nudes. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm not going to say no. <laughs> you went to a host club in Kabukicho after the investigation, didn't you? Who would do such a thing? I mean, you usually do that. I went straight home last night. <clears throat> I can't be out drinking every night. My kid would never let me hear the end of it. All I'm right. sorry, your kid? Yeah, my little girl. At least, I think she's a little girl. I didn't spot any dangly bits, so unless she says otherwise... What? I had no idea you had a daughter, boss. Neither did I. Hmm. I didn't know either. Why'd you keep that a secret all this time? Yeah, right? It wasn't a secret. No one asked. Fair. Yeah, Date, you just kept trying to fuck her in the last game, and, and you wouldn't fucking ask your kids? <laughs> You fucking horn dog. I thought you were on vacation. Yeah, new labor laws. I'm supposed to be on break. And why are you here? Well, why not? I was bored, so I thought I'd come play darts. This is supposed to be a place of business. Could you not play around in here? What? This room is full of things to play with. Yeah, right? <laughs> Kevin. Maybe this case is like a Matryoshka doll. That sounds deep, but I don't think that has anything to do with this case. Huh? Is there something on my face? Well, um... Let me guess. Eye patch? The my patch? <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Looks cool, doesn't it? I'm wearing the patch because Iva ran away from home. That's not the whole story, though, is it, Doc? <laughs> you tried to watch a VR video of bikini girls splitting watermelons at the beach. What? What does that even mean? A VR video of bikini girls splitting watermelons at the beach. <laughs> what does that even mean, bro? I can't do this anymore. I am done being your partner. <laughs> so Iva leapt out of Dante's eye socket and ended up at my place. So she's at your house right now? No, she's working on a top secret mission. What mission? If I told you, it wouldn't be top secret. Fair. <laughs> you fucking horn dog. I saw the news last night. I talked to Boss earlier too, so I know the gist of what's going on. Corpse suddenly appeared in the middle of a live stream, right? And for some reason, just the right half. Like it traveled through time and space. Advice? I only give advice when I'm drinking. Shall we? Sounds like a plan. It's not even noon yet. Doesn't have to be. Who cares? I'm on vacation. Well, I'm not. Come on. My treat. 
as usual. Alright. No, I'll just handle this myself. What? Drink with me. He's an alcoholic horn dog. I mean, why not? Rotation ring. It hasn't even been half a day. No new info for you yet. What the fuck? Jin's left half hasn't been found yet either. Why did his right half burst into flames like that? We're still looking into it. But I was told they haven't recovered any mechanical or electrical pieces. So it wasn't a time bomb. Do you think it could have been hmm. spontaneous combustion? Who knows? Possibly. Yeah, the entire country's been talking about it all day. I mean, I would too. Not just you Japan, know? but the whole world. You see a fucking a body, body show up, like in half, suddenly yeah. appeared in the middle of a broadcast, and then there was that weird QR code too. I'd be surprised if it didn't go viral. Exactly. But how strange. There was a blackout before the corpse appeared, right? So why didn't the stream get cut off? It was just the lights. Nice and soft. Okay. <laughs> it feels kind of soothing being here. Anything to promote office wellness. If that's the case, I'm a bit unwell and I would like to take Thomas' place. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well then, you won't mind if I join you. Ah, see? Ah, that day. We're, we're right here, bro. We're right here. You know? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not. <laughs> Wanna see it again? Yeah, why not? It's weird shit. No. Thank you. Well, we're gonna watch it anyway. Fuck you, Ryuki. It's very weird. Like, I don't know what any of this means. Watched it anyway. And like, yeah, what the fuck are these? What is it, Ryuki? The QR code on that sign was shown during the live stream too. Yeah, quite clearly. That means it was seen by people around the world. They say the view cube video and the link got several million views. Hmm. The account is already deleted, but you know how it is. People uploaded copies to other sites almost immediately. That means the yep. actual number of people who saw it is several times greater. Yep. Anything strange happened since? What do you mean? Maybe a bunch of people being sent to the hospital after seeing the video or something. No, I haven't heard any reports like that so far. I see. Like I said, the uploader of the original video is unknown. Huh. Okay, then. Tama and I will continue the investigation. Oh, wait. Before you go, there's one thing I want you to be careful about. And what is that? Abyss is having issues with the communication network right now. Any data obtained by your AI ball can't be uploaded to the cloud. Hmm. Yeah, I can't do any backups right now. I can only save data inside my body's storage. So we'll be in big trouble if you break. Yes, any data saved from today on will be lost. Understood. We'll be careful. Hmm. So, where do you plan on going first? I thought we'd start by asking around for more info. I haven't been able to talk to the people who are at the scene much yet. Mizuki, Iris, Noma, Chenpei, and Andy's Komeji, the host. Do you have their nice. locations? Yes, I've obtained each of their locations through the GPS on their smartphones. Fuck yeah. First, Mizuki is at a place called Matsushita Diner. Ah! Ota's place. 
Yeah, fucking Iris Oda. Seems to be on the campus of Sekiba High. Makes sense. She's a student there, after all. Yep. Moma and Chinpei are at the Kumakura office. As they should be. Right. The Dragon and Lantern's place. And finally, Kameiji. He seems to be on the rooftop amusement park at Misaton. Misaton? Huh. That department store in Shinjuku? Do you want to ride along for the investigation, Mr. Date? Oh! <laughs> I'm not going to work on my day off. I'm not that bored. Bored enough to come <laughs> here? There are many types of boredom. This is different. <laughs> he just wants to be near the titties. That's all it is. Well, Ryuki, you know what I'm saying? I'm counting on you. Right. Leave it to me. Tama, you take care of Ryuki, okay? Always. Yeah. Even her little, like, fake, like, projection model has fucking titties. It's crazy. Matt, let's see. Um, where should we go first? Maybe we'll leave the uh, the department store for last, because that's not part of the first game. We haven't seen that. These three we have seen. So let's hit these. Let's go talk to uh, Mizuki. Is that a fucking limo? Is that what I just saw? The hell, this fucking dude just sleep in the corner. Just knock the fuck out. This sucks. I heard it talked my jaw off yesterday. Yep, you're gonna do it again. The local detective, right? I haven't heard anything yet. Big sis, perhaps you should help them. Big sis. Excuse me. Big sis. Ah, that's just what I call Mizuki. Ah. And your My name is Kizuna. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hey. Hi. I'm from the Metropolitan Police Department. Ryuki, right? You were on that quiz show last night. This guy's mad weird. Oh shit. Like off screen. <laughs> oh god. Hmm. This is a bit difficult to explain. I just sensed a certain elegance to Mizuki that was characteristic of an older sister. It... is that a compliment? Tama, how old is Kizuna? 18, same as Iris. They're in their third year, so they're graduating soon. In other words, Mizuki is a whole six years younger than Kizuna. What? She's, well, yeah, okay, so this was the six years ago, so she's still 12. They're in the same grade, though? Smart-ass cheating bitch. I am indeed. How did you know? Your uniform? Don't tell me you're a uniform buff, Ryuki. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Oda. I didn't take you for a pervert. Because <sighs> he is good friends with Iris and Mame, too. Oh, you don't know about Mame, do you? No, not yet. Amame Doi's her full name. Mame, uh, um, Amame Doi. That's a fucking kicker. She attends Sekiba High like Kizzy and Iris. Iris and Mame belong to the same dance club as I. It was through them that I was introduced to Big Sis. Yes, I most certainly do. <laughs> However, I am not very good at it. Don't That's need to be. That's not true. You've even won a dancing competition before. That was nothing more than a fluke. Iris is a far better dancer. Yeah, she's a fucking TikToker, basically. Uh, today is February 11th, National Foundation Day. Fuck does that mean? Oh yeah, it is. So, why are you here? Why else? To eat some of Ota's cooking. I brought my friend Kizzy with me. And I appreciate your business. Iris had an offer to appear on the show. Okay. So she was asked to bring another talent from Lemon Skate, but no one could make it, so I decided to go instead. As the All president right. of Lemon Skate, I couldn't just turn it down. President? 
Aren't you 12? <laughs> it's a long story. I ended up taking over the company after Daddy. Oh, yeah, I remember that. That was, uh, that was interesting. Sorry, but I don't know anything. I just went on the show like Iris asked. And then a body showed up out of nowhere. I've heard about Jin Furue, but it's not like I knew him personally. Sorry, I can't really help. Yeah, well, I saw Date. Huh. And? I mean, Mr. Date is like your foster father. So I thought I'd let you know just in case. Foster father? I'm the one taking care of him. <laughs> I'm paying the rent and utility bills, too. Oh. Oh, I know of Mr. Date as well. He is quite close with Iris. So I have the honor of being on friendly terms with him as well. All right, you're you're getting a little like intertwined into some shit. I don't know what the fuck you think you're doing, lady, but better calm down. I was watching that quiz show live as well. Then goodness, I that corpse suddenly appeared on the screen. I couldn't sleep last night from the shock of it all. I was worried about Big Sis and Iris as well. Yeah, you called me a bunch. I remember. You witnessed the corpse with your own eyes. Did you not? Are you certain you're okay? I'm totally fine. Your mental fortitude is admirable. I've been through a lot is all. Very true. Are you Mr. Ota Matsushita? Oh, you heard of me? Did you talk to Date or something? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> He's linked to the new Cyclops hero killings. That's how I know his name and age. Ocha is 24. One year older than you, Ryuki. Yeah, that's why I'm being polite. <laughs> nah. Ota handles the cooking, serving, and accounting all by himself. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, this Tama, fucking dude. Are there any legal issues with this? Not at all. His mother, Mayumi Matsushita, holds the proper certification for food hygiene. Mr. Matsushita, can I ask where your mother is? Probably in the living room back there. I guess she's sitting at the Kotatsu watching TV or something. Mm. Man, that was crazy. I said it before, but I was watching that stream live. I heard Tessa and Mizuki were going to be on that show, right? Then that body appeared out of nowhere. Man, I couldn't believe what I saw. Speaking of crazy, that view cube video. Ooh. You saw it. No, not the whole thing. I saw the one before, though. The one before? You don't know? A video similar to that one went viral. Everyone was talking about it online. Ah, I know of that one as well. The mysterious video known as Bats 490, correct? Yup. Hmm. There was some kind of code hidden in it, too. According to the rumors... Whoever deciphers it will learn the secret of the world. Secret of the world? Did a grade schooler come up with that or something? You're a grade schooler yourself, by the way. That's the lamest shit I've ever heard. Th that came out of nowhere. <laughs> of course I have one. You met her yesterday, right? Tessa, the girl named Iris Sagan. Fucking delusional. Ota, do you want me to rip your tongue out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, as long as we're on the subject. Are you going out with anyone, Kizzy? Oh, me? Eh, hey, you're gonna get fucking just rejected hard. Such relations with gentlemen are completely foreign to me. Are you into baby face guys that know how to cook? Ugh, no shame. <laughs> oh, my type is so stereotypical that I am embarrassed to admit it. Someone like Prince Charming. A prince? Oh my god. I yearn to be a princess. Oh, fucking... <clears throat> I hope my Prince Charming will appear before me with a glass slipper someday. What the fuck? That's my dream. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Glass slipper? Oh god, here we go. The fuck is this guy? Ota? 
Who is that? Well, he's a customer. He comes by a lot. Um, well, in any case, I have a great affinity for shoes. My admiration of Princess Cinderella partially comes from that, I'm sure. Glass slippers. Isn't that so magical? What the How fuck? How lovely it would be to dance in them. Yeah, and then watch it crack and just fucking split your foot in half. Wouldn't it be hard to dance in glass slippers? <laughs> that is true. Can I talk to the fucking the one dude? Ah, yeah, there you go. Maybe you shouldn't talk to that guy. No, I'm definitely talking to him. He seems pretty drunk. He's drinking non-alcoholic beer. What do you want, jerk? I was not aware you could get drunk from non-alcoholic beverages. <laughs> Pardon me, but may I ask your name? It just says man. Seems to be depressed. It's all right now, because I am here. This stupid shit again. How are you, young boy? Ha <laughs> 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 The cringe almost killed him. Yes, he's not doing too good. I can do the thing. There we go. I hate that it's like it makes sense. Like I move my mouse to the right. And, it, and it, it fucking turns me to the right. But it doesn't it doesn't compute with my old man thinking of like if I wanna move the the fucking the background or what I'm looking at, I gotta click and drag it to my left. It, it doesn't compute. And the video starts with a bunch of bats flying around. Guess that's where the bats part comes from. I don't know what the four ninety means though. Were you able to decode it? No way. I had no idea what it meant. Well, it's not like solving it would have been a big deal. I'll bet that oh, secret man. of the world stuff is bogus anyway. Don't Usually ruin the is. fantasy, Mizuki. I'm just telling it like it is. Fair. It's just an ARG. It's a game for kids. ARG means alternate reality game. Yeah. The Game Master releases mysterious information to the public via the internet, leaflets, posters, stuff like that. Players decode the information to discover a location or objective that moves the game forward. Simply put, an ARG is a fusion of games and real life. Yes. I'd love to take part in an ARG. It'd be kind of cool. Hey, Kizzy, I want to see you dance. Well, yeah, dance, monkey, dance. <laughs> I want to see two. Don't you want to see two, Ryuki? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, Dance. I gotta see this. Dance. Then I'll play some music. Just a sec. Wait, um, I have not agreed to anything yet. Oh, blushing ass. Yeah. You better fucking dance. It's gonna be some fucking cringe ass TikTok shit. Watch. Same shit that fucking uh, Iris does. Same fucking shit. Get some donuts in the bathroom. Fuck. This is so... Fucking cringe. <laughs> you fucking weirdo. Oh, our backpack's a heart. That's cool. That that's interesting. I, I get them credit for that. That was cringe as fuck, but I I give them 
I give them credit for that. Uh, uh, I know your name. Interesting. Uh, You're Kizuna, aren't you? Interesting uh, choice of clothing, accessory, etc. I heard you introducing yourself earlier. My name is Lian, Lian Twining, and I'm 22 years old. My father's American and my mother's Japanese. So, Kizuna, I want you to marry me. The fuck? <laughs> Oda's always got the best face. <laughs> uh. No, I'm not okay. Jesus Christ, you good, bro? My heart feels like a jackhammer, like it's gonna burst out of my chest any second. Oh, shut up. Of course this isn't a joke. Kizuna's dance purified my heart. There was so much darkness building inside me, but she cleared it all away. It felt like I went straight to heaven. I've always wanted to be a pilot since I was little. It was my dream to fly through the sky. I kind of blacked out there for a second on the fucking cringe. Kizuna made that dream come true for me. God. Seeing her dance, it was like my soul pierced the heavens and flew into the stars. <laughs> so, I've decided. I'm gonna marry her. Won't you marry me, Kizuna? No, thank you. <laughs> so fast. No. Oh, look at that shot to his soul. Let's go. I'll pretend <laughs> I didn't hear that. No, thank you. I'll pretend I didn't hear that either. No, thank you. Anyway, I won't give up. You'll come around eventually, Kizuna. <laughs> no, thank you. 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 No, th My Jesus motto Christ. is... If at first you don't succeed, try and fail again! <laughs> I think you mean try, try again. <laughs> Actually, I got fired yesterday. I didn't feel like doing anything after I woke up this morning. I came here so I could drink my problems away. Fair enough. But you were drinking non-alcoholic beer. I can still get drunk off of them, okay? What job did you get fired from? I was a bank clerk. What were you really? I don't like talking about it, but I was a janitor. I think that is a noble job. You're so right! But unfortunately, my job was taken from me. Mm -hmm. I have zero motivation to do anything now. Hard work just seems so pointless. I, I, can, I can level with that. I dislike people who don't work hard. All right. I'm hitting up the employment office tomorrow. Oh, shut the fuck up. This guy has a rather one-track mind. <laughs> he doesn't seem all that bad, though. Fucking weirdo. <laughs> now, we haven't obtained much useful information. There's no point in staying here for too long. Yeah, let's go somewhere else. <laughs> the fuck is this, a Tamagotchi? How did that pop up? That's mad weird. Alright, let's go to high school and talk to, uh, fucking Aset. Or Tessa slash Iris slash the bitch that, like, Oda always wants to fucking, like, mess with and can't fucking get because he's a fucking cornball. Who the fuck is this? Who's this bitch? I ain't never seen you in my life. How are you feeling? Still upset about last night? I'm okay. I recover pretty quick from these things. See? I'm bouncing right back. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy bunny! Fringe. Ryuki, would you mind hitting her with a German suplex? <laughs> Later. By the way, you're... That's Mame. She's one of my best friends. Ah, uh, okay. Nice to meet you. My name is Amame Doi. Yeah, you look like a fucking doy. I'm a third year at Sakiba High, and I'm in the same dance club as Iris. I'm a super hyper cutie miracle beauty. Oh. 
Stay up here. I think we should leave. Yeah, sounds like a good fucking time to leave. Uh, hold on. So you're the one I heard about. Mizuki and Kizuna told me about you earlier. Huh. You just pictured me in a leotard, didn't you? <laughs> uh, no. Help, it's a pervert. Somebody call the police. Oh my fucking god. Is she role playing right now? I am the police. <laughs> oh, come to think of it, you were on the quiz show last night, weren't you? Your name started with an R, I think. Yeah. Mr. Rero 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 Taro, was it? What the fuck? Rero 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 Taro! What the fuck is that? It's Ryuki! Oh, I see. Mr. Ryuki Rero Taro. <laughs> Oh my fucking god. This is this is gonna be an undertaking, I swear to god. <laughs> German suplex. We're gonna leave that one for last. Hmm. Leave that one for last. Mizuki didn't tell you? She did. But I want to double check, just in case. The agency I belong to, Lemniscate, received a request for me to appear. They wanted me and one more person to participate as a pair. But we couldn't find anyone with an opening in their schedule. And that's why Mizuki ended up going instead. Alright. Don't you know today is February 11th? National Foundation Day. I don't know what that means. Oh, right. Then why are you at school? Well, how do I put this? I just felt compelled. I can only wear this uniform and attend this school for about another month or so. God. Can only listen. If I was in a fucking uniform, I'd be itching to get out of it, right? Second of all, I don't want to fuck be at school. So you are completely a different fucking breed, like probably a different fucking species for me. So I invited mommy, and we just kind of ended up here. That's weird. And you have access to a school when it's closed? Because I know I didn't. Iris and Amane are third years. They'll be graduating soon. I already said that, Thomas. Shut up! I'm sorry, I don't know anything about it. It did feel like some sort of paranormal phenomenon, though. It was kind of weird. Paranormal. Like I mentioned last night, maybe that body teleported here from some other world. The other half could have been absorbed into some other dimension, and that split the body in two. Yeah, okay. Speaking of which, there are rumors that people who watched that video and disappeared could have also been swallowed into another dimension. Interesting. I'm gonna leave the German suplex alone. Whoa! A mommy turned into a skeleton! <laughs> it's an x-ray! <laughs> I know about the incident. I was watching the live stream of that quiz show. That QR code video, a similar video went viral about half a year ago. The Fats 490 video. Yeah. Supposedly people who saw it suddenly vanished. That's 490. Kizuna mentioned the same thing. So, they say those who went missing were taken into another dimension. Yeah. You could say I'm a part-timer. It's just me and my mom back home, so money's tight. I don't have time to go to college or a specialty school. But mommy is so smart! She always has the best grades, even though she doesn't go to class much. I've been busy with my part-time job and dance practice. Where do you work? I work as a mermaid at a gaudy maid cafe called Sunfish Pocket. Oh, God, the fucking mermaid cafe? That's a weird place. Mermaids are what they call the maids that work there. They wear these cute mermaid outfits as they serve the customers. Now, I know because I used to work at Sunfish Pocket a long time ago. Yes, yes, you Mommy did. works there at night after dance practice. So weird. Don't tell anyone, but... Until about 11. That's late. Even when you were 17. Yes. 
Ever since I was 16. That's late. That's a violation of Article 61 of the Labor Standards Act. Though, it would be the employer who would be penalized. Yep. I lied to the manager about my age. So according to my profile, I'm 20 years old right now. That's a bit... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please don't arrest me. My family's poor, so I need to keep working. <laughs> okay, sure, why not? I don't think there's anyone from our generation that doesn't know who he is. I don't know shit. He's famous for having a sharp tongue. He used to write a bunch of completely lame articles and critiques online. He used to start up stupid internet drama crap on Twitter, too. Amame has a pretty sharp tongue herself. His main job was being the CEO of Music Food. I guess that's like the president of the company? Okay. I think I read an article online that said he started the business when he was 22. But his history before then is shrouded in mystery. And no one knows anything about his childhood, right? Yeah. He was a pretty mysterious figure. Then ask me why I move without him. Why I'm looking down from where I'm at. The bottom's always overcrowded. 